guys, welcome to Armchair Adventures, hosted by me, Rita. That's right, it's Rita. I bet you weren't expecting that, were you? On an armchair adventure, you can go anywhere you like. On an armchair adventure, imaginations fly. On this episode, we are going on an armchair adventure with, drum roll please... Our very own Connie. Say hello, Connie. Hi, Rita. I'm Connie. I'm 15 and I'm a travel agent from Ashton Underline. Me and the gang thought it was high time that you had a turn at deciding where we go on an armchair adventure. Well, I've been enjoying helping you guys, to be honest. I know you have, Connie, but fair's fair and all that. And I've always wanted to be a travel agent. Sun, sea, sand and seafood. Oh, I love seafood. Delicious. What's that music? That'll be Andy on the piano. Say hi, Andy. He only communicates in music, bless him. And he is going to help us with your armchair adventure, aren't you, Andy? Right, let me see. So, tell me what you are looking for. What? From a holiday. I mean, an adventure. Well, I mean, things are so much better with the pandemic and all that, but I still feel like there's a whopping great big dark cloud hanging over us all. I feel like at any time, we could all end up back in lockdown, or worse. A dark cloud, eh? A bit like this, do you mean? Yes, just like that. I want to go somewhere where I'm free from all that. Somewhere where there's nothing to worry about. No danger of anyone getting hurt or ill or lonely or... Well, anything negative, I suppose. I want to feel completely free. That's it. How does this music make you feel, listener? Well, I was thinking of suggesting a fortnight in Benidorm with the girls. But now you've said all that, I don't think that'll quite cut the mustard, even if we did go all-inclusive. I'll tell you what, let's get the rest of the gang on the phone and see what they think. Hiya gang, we're the travel agents this episode and Connie is our customer. (laughs) Our Connie wants to go somewhere where she feels free. Isn't that right, Connie? Yes, it is. Freedom is so important. I, for one, have felt a lot better since we got some of our freedoms back. Me too, Carla. Free to meet up with friends again, even when it's raining. I know, listener. As the gang call out their freedoms they have enjoyed getting back, let's act them out. Giving my family a hug and a kiss. Oh. <laughs> Opening the front door and going anywhere I like. Yeah. Strolling down the high street, seeing what's changed. Ooh. <laughs> To go to a cafe for a meal. And do some people watching. (gasps) Free to go to the theatre again. Oh, live sport. Way! (laughs) Karaoke night. Go on, Linda, give us a song. Dancing Queen. That 
was amazing. Well done, guys. I just hope we've learnt some lessons from the lockdowns. Well, I've learnt I do not like letters from the government telling me what I can and can't do. To be honest, I just want to go somewhere where I'm free from all my problems and there's no threat or fear of anything going wrong. I know what you mean, Connie. I think we all do. You can't escape your worries, but you can build up your resilience to them. And build up your community so you can share your worries with others. Yes, I know, but if we go far enough away, we might be able to completely escape from, well, everything. So, where have you got in mind, Connie? Well, somewhere as far away as possible, like I say, but maybe also where I can still make a difference and do something positive, I suppose. Maybe help the environment or something? Oh, I'm quite new to this travel agent, Lark. That's a tricky one. The kind of thing you'd do on a gap year, you mean, Connie? Well, yeah. I'm planning on going to Australia for a gap year when I'm a bit older. I did a gap year as a magician's assistant in Blackpool when I finished my schooling. He was an escapologist. Eventually, he escaped with a makeup artist from Milton Keynes. And piff, paff, puff, that was the end of that. All right, Andy, don't rub it in. We've got Andy with us today, gang. Ooh, Australia's wonderful, Connie. All the animals and history. The warmth and happiness and spirituality. It's electric. Can you play something for that, Andy? Oh, yes, Australia's magical. I know, listener, while Andy plays the music, close your eyes and imagine you're in Australia. Shout out all the things you can see. Oh, wow, the beach. Oh, oh, look at that. Beauty. Beauty. Oh, shark. Oh, sharks. No, I don't fancy sharks. Sharks are my biggest fear. Oh, no, Andy. My fears are much worse than that. more like it. There's a group of remarkable young people helping to restore the barrier reef out in Australia, bringing the world back to life. With your leadership skills, Connie, I can see it could be something you could really get involved in. I've read about that, John. That sounds amazing. What's coral when it's at home? Coral are small animals that live in warm water and attach themselves to rocks, with some types building a hard skeleton that they hide in. A barrier reef is a place where you find lots of coral all together. And because of climate change and pollution, the coral is getting damaged at an alarming rate. Coral reef conservation is so important. I'd love to do something like that. Can we go on an armchair adventure to Australia to save the barrier reef then, please? (gasps) What about poor Rita, though? Won't you be frightened all the while worrying about... You know what? Making an appearance. Sharks! Keith, Connie was trying to be subtle. Ooh, sorry. Don't worry about me. I can't let the fact a shark may or may not turn up stop me. And I've got you lot to help me any road. I'll be fine. Okay, brilliant. If you're sure, Rita. I know, listener. Let's all pretend to squeeze into our wetsuits ready for scuba diving at the Barrier Reef in Australia. Ready? Go! Struggling to get into mine. Here, have some talcum powder. (coughs) That's better, thanks. Don't forget your flippers. Right, now we're all kitted out and ready to dive into a barrier reef adventure. Off we go.
so peaceful and so beautiful. Feeling weightless, your worries floating away. So many incredible fish. Small, pretty ones. Big ones of all shapes and sizes. Shows of fish moving in harmony. Zebrafish, clownfish, seahorses, stingray, bright blue fish. All the colours of the rainbow. Shivering as the sun shines on them. What can you see under the water at the Barrier Reef, listener? What are you doing, Barry? Pretending to be a jellyfish. I'm going up and down with my arms out, all floaty, wiggling my fingers. I know, listener. Let's all pretend to be a jellyfish like Barry. <laughs> What are you doing, John? I'm a seahorse, tall and thin, arms out front like I'm holding a bridle, going up and down slowly with a curly tail. Let's pretend to be a seahorse, listener. I'm a turtle, two little hands, head poking out and a huge shell on my back. We're being clamfish. Lay flat on the ground, disguised in the sand. Just our eyes peeking out. Keep quiet, and when you hear the ding, listener, a little fish is in our reach, and we'll pounce. Are you ready? Steady. Now. I can feel all my worries just washing away. Damaged the coral. Colours faded, 
Dark browns, greys and black. Look, it's all twisted in plastic and dead looking. Void of life. It makes me feel so sad and worried. How does the damaged coral make you feel, listener? Oh, Connie, look, there's a little octopus, all entangled in a plastic net. Legs curl up. Tentacles stuck fast. Twitching. Trapped. Urgent feet. Muscles straining. Jerking. Desperate to be free. Let's help to get it free, listener. Very carefully, with me, unwind the plastic nets and let the octopus swim off, free and happy again. Look at him, beautiful, floating away. Right, you lot, I've got a tray of nursery-grown corals here. You can all see where the coral has been damaged due to climate change and pollution. Grab some coral from me and you, listener. Lovely, I'll have that one. Right, guys, we're going to glue the coral onto the reef. Don't worry, it won't hurt them. Over time, the coral will embed itself naturally. That's right, Rita. Ready? Go! I feel a shadow. Me too. The fish are scattering. Hiding away in their caves. The shadow is moving and spreading. I'm frightened. This is not supposed to be happening. Here, we're supposed to be free from all that. Don't move, everyone. Look up. Help! It's a shark. Hide, everyone. Is everyone okay? Is everyone safe? I'm not sure. We can still hear that music. It's getting louder. Who's not made it? Oh no, oh no. Nice shark. Is Rita here? Who's a good boy then, eh? I've got a leg of lamb in my fridge back home. A lovely leg of lamb. You can have it if you like. If you ain't me, I might be a bit. Well, leathery at my age. Look, Connie, Rita's in trouble. Oh no. What are we going to do? Someone needs to go and help her. I'm sorry, Connie. Me and Dean have buried our heads in this sand. We can't help. I'm just plain dead, Connie, I'm afraid. I can't possibly move. I'm really worried and scared now, Connie. Please help. Listen, Shark. I promise I won't eat any seafood ever again. Not even scampy fries. Someone's got to help Rita. I'm sorry, Connie. Did you say something? We're just going to ignore the problem if you don't mind. It's not going, Connie. Help! Just stay calm, Rita. It should just pass on by if you let it. Use your adrenaline to the positive, Rita. Control it. Breathe. You've got this. I'm here with you, Rita. Together we can cope with this situation. I know we can. (gasps) And if it does come too close, just punch it square on the nose. Really? Absolutely. Uh, Hopefully it won't come to that. Just stay calm and let it move on by. Listen. Incredible. That was an experience I'll never forget. Me neither. Absolutely. Right. Sorry we left you on your own back there, Connie. What about me? Oh, well, and you, Rita. We wanted to help you understand, Connie. 
that you have the power to deal with worry, even of the shark kind. Don't worry, guys. I understand now. It's been an incredible armchair adventure, and it's taught me so much. I've learned that you can't really escape from your worries, only learn to live with them and face up to them when you need to. I've also learned to enjoy magical moments when they're here, but understand they're only temporary, and that's okay. In fact, every feeling, bad and good and in between, is only temporary, and that's a good thing. We're really pleased to hear you say that, Connie. It's helped us too. Hasn't it, gang? Absolutely. Well, I have the best customers or travel agents a travel agent could ask for. Thank you. Next time, listener, another one of my lovely customers gets to take us on another armchair adventure, inspired by their passions and interests. But for now, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye. Bye, guys. End call now. Lovely. Thanks, Rita. My pleasure, love. Now I can't stop and chat. I've got to get down to the fishmongers. The fishmongers? Yes. I fancy a prawn cocktail starter to go with that leg of lamb tonight. Mmm. See ya. (laughs) Bye. Hit that subscribe button to get the latest episode in your feed as soon as it's released. And if you're listening on Apple Podcasts, please rate and review. It really helps us spread the word. Thank you. Love you guys. On an armchair adventure, you can go anywhere you like. On an